All right, folks, let's try this one more time. Hello, hope you're having a good day. Unfortunately, I don't think mine started very well. And the reason being is that YouTube has launched its latest volley against small creators. I received this little email here. It says, today we're announcing changes to YouTube Partner Program. Our goal remains to keep the YouTube Partner Program open to as many channels as possible. We recognize we need more safeguards in place to protect creator revenue across the YouTube ecosystem. What's changing? Under the new eligibility requirements announced today, your channel will no longer be eligible for monetization because it doesn't meet the new threshold of 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. As a result, your channel will lose access to all monetization tools and features associated with the YouTube Partner Program on February 20th unless you surpass this threshold in the next 30 days. This serves as 30 days to notice that your partner program terms are terminated. One of YouTube's core values is to provide anyone the opportunity to earn money from a thriving channel. Creators who haven't yet reached this new threshold can continue to benefit from our Creator Academy, our Help Center, and all the resources on the Creator site to grow their channels. Once your channel reaches a new threshold, it will be reviewed to make sure it adheres to our policies and guidelines, and if so, monetization can be re-enabled. Has there ever been a more insulting and dismissive, if not all outright disgusted, tone in a message from YouTube? What they're basically doing, folks, is they're telling you that if you're a small content creator, if you haven't met this threshold, and let me tell you, that is not an easy threshold, especially to try to meet it in the next 30 days. Tell me how I'm going to get 4,000 hours of watch time in the past 12 months in the next 30 days, okay? Gee, maybe something will go viral. That's what they're counting on. Although they're not counting on it from me. They're not counting on it from the guy with 5,000 subs or 500 subs or like me, 125 on this channel. Folks, I have four channels on YouTube. I started out in YouTube in 2011 with one channel. And that channel was starting to grow. And I was right about the point when I was just ready to start getting into like 200 subs, that kind of thing. Um, there was about maybe two, 250 videos on that channel. Um, I got hit with the, remember Microsoft in 2014? Yeah. I got slammed with that. I had two copyright strikes, lost all monetization for three months over something that was basically a mistake on Microsoft's marketing um, partners' fault. For, for, uh, Part. In any case, it was so bad that I ended up taking down the channel and I came back a couple of months later and I took all my content and I spread it out across four channels. And if you look now, you'll see that there's the gaming channel and there's about a thousand videos on here. But I also have my, my uh, which some of you may be more familiar with. My car channel, where I show you how to do some car repairs and car related stuff, fun things like that. I have my IT channel because I was an IT uh, consultant for a long time and an IT, still an IT pro. You can see that here. And I would tell people how to do things and how to deal with their hardware and how to fix stuff on their computers, things like that. And, of course, I have one other channel that's uh, this one here, which is pretty much the one that I've had the most trouble with recently because of YouTube. This one got demonetized about six months ago because it wasn't meeting the threshold that it once met before. And the reason it wasn't meeting the threshold was because I got hit with a co copyright strike on this channel because of somebody who abused the copyright system and YouTube did nothing to protect me. And 
but as a result of it, I lost something like 5,000 total views. This was never a high view channel to start with. But I lost something like 5,000 views, which dropped me below the threshold, and I never got those views back, and I never ranked anywhere in the search results. And this is the problem. You, nobody with a small channel is going to rate high in the search results. Nobody. That's not how YouTube works anymore. I'll show you what YouTube wants. What YouTube wants is this. YouTube wants YouTube TV. YouTube is moving towards being like Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Video. That's what they want to be. They don't care about somebody who does, hasn't brought an audience with them already. And if you look at what's trending, you've got sites like, oh, Honest Trailers. Well, I don't know how they don't get a copyright strike every, every day of the week. But all they do is replay trailers that have already been out in the wild and make money on it. E! Entertainment, The Ellen Show, BBC Earth. Now, there is nothing wrong with these, with, with these media, media broadcasts in and of themselves, but they're on YouTube, and this is the only thing YouTube is interested in now. Take a look at what's tr so-called trending. Brightside. Do you know what Brightside is? Here you go, guys. Let's look at Brightside. This is the crap you see on the bottom. Like if you go to the Wall Street Journal or the New York Times, at the bottom of the page, you know, you see those those little those little those little blurbs that say, "Oh, these well, you won't believe what you know um, what what uh, Lonnie Anderson looks like now." Okay, this is the kind of crap. This is what this is. And this channel came along. Check this out, folks. March 2017. 6.4 million subscribers, 1.2 billion views in 10 months. Yeah, that seems legit. This is what YouTube wants. Sensationalism. It wants music videos. It wants movie clips. It wants stuff that it has already made its money somewhere else. YouTube is now, for the major media outlets, just a supplement. It is the second screen source. That's what YouTube is to the, YouTube is now. It's not for the little creators. It's not for the guy that's got 100 subs hoping to get to 1,000. And let me tell you something. YouTube is not the same YouTube Ten, that it was 10 years ago. It's not the same YouTube it was five years ago. YouTube is a mechanism of a large corporate entity that supports other large corporate entities. I have big channels I like, but you know what? I, I take it all with a grain of salt, what you have to do on YouTube. You're not going to get a whole lot of unfiltered, honest truth on YouTube. Somebody will complain. It'll get taken down. Heaven forbid it's monetized. Then you'll get a copyright strike and get enough of those and they'll take your whole channel down. And you don't have a hell of a lot of recourse unless you've got big powerful attorneys to do cease and desist letters. Look. The problem is that YouTube is going to make a thousand excuses for why this is safe. They're protecting the revenue stream. They're protecting it for sites like, oh, well, let's say, if you're a video gamer, game ranks. Okay, good bunch of guys, interesting information. But they're half shills for game publishers. When do they ever say something really awful about a game? Think about it. As much as you may like or agree with them, the fact is, they have access. They have backing. There's money there, and it ain't just from YouTube. Neebs Gaming. Everybody loves Neebs Gaming. They started off with the Battlefield Friends, the, their animation channel, which was originally under Machinima, which was a big partner. Used to be on YouTube, you had a lot of big partners that helped small creators grow, and they helped, and that's how they helped um, 
basically Neebs Gaming, and when Neebs Gaming got big enough and, and popular enough, they went off on their own, and now they got over a million subs, you know, and they're doing, they're doing just fine. But to keep going, they also have to have a little grease from the large corporate monsters themselves. Do you think they're getting invited to E3? Do you think that they're getting early access to EA and Activision games? Do you think that they're actually not getting preferential treatment and getting things and getting tools that make it easier and give them exclusive access that lets their channel grow? That people like, well, say me, I'm not going to get because I don't have those relationships. And a lot of small channels don't. But I also don't have, I'm also not beholden to anybody. And that's what you're gonna lose on YouTube. Even some of the smaller channels. There's one guy, he basically is nothing more than a Dan Bell clone. I have all kinds of respect for Dan Bell because he does his own thing in his own videos. But all these clones out there, they basically have backing from somebody else or try to rip off Dan Bell's work and YouTube will put their work right next to Dan Bell's, which gives them instant recognition, right? Well, these people usually also have backing in some kind of, some kind of uh, distribution pipeline that small, small creators are just not going to have. Let me tell you what's going to happen, folks. You're not going to see a lot of new independents come up on YouTube. You're going to see people playing it, but when you see that they have 100,000 subs in a month, that should tell you right there something's up. Okay? It used to be you sat there and did your thing on YouTube, and YouTube didn't care because it's like, hey, if we do an ad, we're going to share the revenue because you know what? As long as somebody's looking at your stuff, who knows? We make money and we'll give you a little money. Now, let me let me tell you something about AdSense and some personal experience. I've dealt with AdSense for the last five and a half, six, the last seven years I've been on YouTube. AdSense pays for views. It, everything is about views. And I've been lucky to make a couple hundred bucks a year off AdSense because I don't get the views fine well they want to take that little bit away now to protect the creators they're not protecting the creators they're protecting the late night talk shows they're protecting the music videos they're protecting the big media outlets who are using YouTube as, as the second screen that's what they're protecting they're not protecting us YouTube isn't a place for anybody to grow anything how do we fight back? There is no real alternative. Vimeo? Vimeo hardly has any views. You can't really monetize it. Vidme is gone. Vidme could, didn't last two years because it's all about the big corporate monster. Fine, it's almost a cliche term these days, I know. But the only way to fight back, remember, I've always said, YouTube is a sandbox. It's their rules. And we can't do anything about it. I don't like what they've become. A lot of older YouTube creators don't like what they've become. But the older ones have the benefit of being around long enough to absorb these hits and these new draconian measures. The only thing you can do to fight against this is if you've got a creator you like, if there's somebody out there that's doing stuff that makes your day or helps you out, support them, promote them, get out there. Because what it's gonna take is 4,000 hours, was it 4,000 hours and 1,000 subs that doesn't sound like a lot, but when you realize that I've struggled because YouTube actively works against small creators like myself. They actively work against us. And YouTube ignores its own rules if there's money in it. I have seen blatant illegal activity. A lot of these urban explorer channels and that that are monetized. 
These guys are blatantly breaking the law. YouTube lets it go and puts ads on it and makes money off of it. People who openly uh, put copyrighted content. We're, I mean, we're not even talking about, oh, a copyright strike, oh, a clip of a video. We're talking entire episodes of television shows, of videos, of movies show up on YouTube and they get monetized. You see the commercials. I don't care if it's the guy who put it up getting the money or not. If there's a commercial, somebody got paid and it's YouTube. That's what they're after. They don't care about organically grassroots growing anything. So all you can do is try to play in their rules. And in their rules, you have to tell your friends. You have to get out there. It has to be a grassroots movement. Pass it around on Instagram. On, put, it, put it in your Twitter feed. Post it on Facebook. Do this stuff. Because a lot of small creators, let me put it this way, on this channel, on the Gaming with the Real Duds Fried channel, I have actually promoted the, the, the culture of positivity, the, the whole thing about life gives you lemons, try to make lemonade, try to stay positive even when things are bad. And this is the thing that most promoted by Adam the Woo and Justin Scard. A lot of people like them. They're not huge, but they're big enough to survive these new rules. And the thing is, they've been around long enough that they don't depend on AdSense anymore anyway. They have Spreadshirt and they have pins and, and, some, and some Patreon stuff. That, I mean, they have things to other, other means of revenue to help them keep doing what they're doing because what they do requires that they don't have their full-time job somewhere. Okay? They've somehow done what most people can't, which is make a living off YouTube, but not directly from YouTube. YouTube is just a medium. People like Adam the Woo, people like Justin Scard, even people, if you go as far back like PewDiePie, who I can't stand, this guy, they would, in this environment, those channels would never survive. A lot of the stuff that's popular that you see now is the front for something much bigger. It's not grassroots. It's fake. And the only way to fight it is to play within YouTube's rules. And those rules say, we've got to get eyeballs on these small channels. We've got to get people signed up. And we got to show that these small creators, yes, me included, that people actually care about the work that goes into this stuff. It isn't easy. Let me tell you, it's not easy. In fact, the easier it looks, I guarantee the harder it was to do. You got to get out there. The only way to fight back is to play with play in their rules. And keep in mind when you're looking at the game ranks and the Neebs Gaming and all these, they may be great guys, but they're not small creators. They're not, in, and they have other revenue streams. Even they know they can't rely on YouTube ad, AdSense, which is how everybody makes money. So support your YouTube creators. The only thing YouTube cares about is eyeballs and making money off of them. Watch the ads, at least some of them. One of the things I do to support Adam the Woo and Justin Scard. I watch the ad, and they're good to only have one in their videos. They don't have them splitting in the middle usually, unless YouTube sticks it in there. But I will watch at least that first ad. You watch a 15, 30 second ad, boom. That, that's a couple of dimes in the bank. Same goes for any smaller creator. This is all we can do, guys, because honestly, YouTube is openly and has been openly hostile to small creators. And small isn't 10,000. I'm talking 1,000 and below. And there's a lot of good stuff out there that isn't getting seen. And people get discouraged and they give up. And if there's no outlet and there's no way that any eyeballs are going to see anything new, 
then nothing new is ever going to happen. There won't be a game ranks. There won't be a needs gaming. There won't be a Juraga. There won't be an Accursed Farms. There won't be anything but the same crap you see on TV. And that's not what YouTube is supposed to be about. And the only way we can fight it is to get more eyeballs on the small creators. That's my spiel, guys. Um, get out there and fight. And to give credit where it's due, this is the music that you've been hearing. is Fractured by a new god. They're cool. They like the music, and it's royalty and copyright free. So take that, YouTube. It's out of their own music library anyway. So, all right. That's all I got to say. That's all we could do is, is just keep going at it. I'm probably going to get, I'm going to have what's left of my channels demonetized. I'll still be putting up content, but I'll tell you. Sometimes that couple of bucks is just enough incentive to go the extra mile when YouTube has been so hard and has gotten increasingly hostile. I mean, look how ugly this is. This is ugly. This is, this is, this, these page reads, just, it's terrible. It's, oh, and what they've done with the notification updates and all this stuff, this crap up here, this is useless now. It might as well not be there. No. But... If you like you like your channels, support them because they're not going to be around much longer. I'm out.